I think it's episode one one two of Music Real Talk with Marvin. Welcome. Um, you think vast you exist? Yeah, we're we're on uh, on the blue, which is like cruise to the edge for much older people with no prog bands. It's just like rock bands instead. Yeah. But uh, I told you yesterday, friends. Danny, when you, you know, it's a little bit weird in the beginning of assault people, but when you get to know them, it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. It's like, with all the instincts. Super cool. Yeah, like, what was it like on humans? Yeah. Yeah. Doing slavery. Yeah. Because we're all alive and on slaves. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to <laughs> keep that out of the podcast too? No, that, that can go in. Thank you. I hope it will make you laugh the way it made me laugh. Yeah, I've and nobody else. So I, I, I told you already, but I'll tell it to the people of the podcast. Yesterday, I had, uh, I was networking after you guys. What did you all do? Doing? Well, I was in dimension. I was in the seventeenth dimension. Seventeenth so dimension is without drinking. I would give it to you another one or two. Yeah. Well, we okay. So, long story, but uh, when we were trying to get weed to go on the boat, we. Uh, We found out that weed is not legal in Florida uh, unless you have a medical card. So you can't go to the dispensary and just buy weed unless you're, you have a medical card. We thought about getting one, but then you have to be a resident, so it's uh, impossible. You have to be the president? Yeah, you have to be the president. Um, but uh, we went and Nick thought that it would be a great idea to get Delta 8 instead. None of us know knew what that is, but apparently it's like a d- extracting a different part of the THC thing and it's uh, legal somehow so we went to a store and there was like a dude with like sunglasses inside and like a black suit jacket in Florida uh, and he was explaining to us how it's legal you can take it on the boat you can do whatever and so we bought a bunch of gummies from him and then we googled it <laughs> they're like you can't you can't take any of it on the boat it's all just you know federally considered you know marijuana yeah. uh, <laughs> But we thought how hilarious it would be if we just like show up to the port like throw it in the dude's face be like we got gummies bitch can't do anything to us this is Delta A they're like put in handcuffs like what no sunglasses guy with the suit and what's his name of the store Nick Sacred Leaf and Sacred Leaf Gaines <laughs> do they actually have told us handcuffs? it's cool I don't know I'm not sure if they have handcuffs um But in any case, it was, it was interesting. Um, you all right? Yeah. We're good, we're good. You're right, we're good. He was looking for us. Huh? He was looking for us. Oh, yeah, we had a photo experience now that got canceled. Apparently nobody wanted to take pictures with us. Nobody wanted to take pictures with us, which I understand. I don't want to take pictures with him either. But uh, anyway, so I was sitting... Uh, I was, So we found out that if you mix dimension or delta eight and delta nine, you get to delta seventeen. We discover if you mix one type of drug with a different type of drug, you get even yeah. higher than if you use them not together. Yeah, yeah. So we got to dimension seventeen a few times, and uh, that's that's where the magic happens. Uh, but in any case, so I was talking to this guy, and he was just name dropping like nonstop, just like name drop name drop name drop that's how we communicated a lot of musicians here especially the American ones uh, communicate exclusively in it's it's like a weird game like uh, here, I'll, I'll show you. Danny who's like what saxophonist did you grow up listening to Charlie Parker oh my god so my grandfather's sweet uh, like my grandfather's sister was married to the uncle of a guy who had a Charlie Parker album and uh I love him but it, it wouldn't be like that be like, I played with a guy who played drums for the uncle of the dude and I met him and uh, that's that's just kind of like how the no, conversation it sounds like is that. That's Charlie. you yeah. say Charlie Parker Charlie Parker great guy like really nice like I know somebody that knows him and you know I walked on the Charlie Parker tribute and everybody was like super cool and also what like we do? also had uh, you know Jimmy Jones on there and then also uh Rex uh, Ricky well, to, to make what, what they really do is that they change the first name to be like more like personal like it's like oh my god Charlie Charles oh Charles <laughs> yeah right you're already Charlie yeah <laughs> yeah Char Chuck Parker yeah we call him Chuck Chuck Chunky <laughs> yeah exactly Chuck like, hey it's like Chuck Parker it's like me and Chuck like man we used to like 
do heroin together and bang all these hookers in Manhattan. It's the greatest time. Grand old, grand old time. Uh, but yeah, so there was a lot of that. And then uh, he basically, like, at a certain point he told me, it's like, you, you have to use this time on the boat to network. And I was just like, yeah, that's what we're doing right now, I guess. He's like, no, 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 like, be strategic with your dinners. Don't, don't go out to dinners like get drunk with your friends. Go with, like, one person from every band, get everybody's phone numbers, do that. And I was like, and in a way, I know he's right, too, right? But then the story kept going. To like, it's like, that's how we, he's like, the guy was doing a thing, and, and he was a part of a band. And it's, and it's like, we're, we all do this stuff, and we even, like, formed a band. That's how we got the screws. And I'm like, what's your band called? And he goes, The Bottom Feeders. I was just like looking at him. <laughs> yeah. I was just like looking at him like, like you're shitting me, right? It's like this is not like to detect like if he's aware of the irony. Yeah, that's what it ends. Zero, zero awareness. It's just like yeah. I was just like, oh wow, yeah. When are you guys playing, bottom feeders? <laughs> <laughs> so good. Totally, my problem is that I hang out, but. They need a break afterwards. Yeah, you're too intense for them? Too real for them? Well, they, uh, even when we have a good time, like I was doing the, my good impression of what flautist. Oh, the flautist? Everybody was laughing, having a good time, but I knew that afterwards, we're like, ooh, we need a break from this guy. <laughs> no, it is okay, but... Yeah. So it's not like you would hang out with everybody and say, oh shit, oh, today I sat on stage and... And it was like, and it was like why is nobody laughing? That's another thing. Because I was like, what did he say? Oh. Thank, if you see anybody in, in, in black shirts, thank the black shirts. And yeah, said, and you told them and to I said, the brown thank, shirts? Oh, yeah, what about the brown shirts? Yeah. yeah. And I was like... The guy didn't laugh. Nobody laughed. And I was like, do you understand what the black the brown shirts are? That's funny. They understood. It's World War Two reference. Yeah. It's a joke. Mm, this, yeah, I don't, didn't land. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of stuff. You, can't, you can't be on 10. I feel like a lot of times... Uh, it's not on 10 <laughs> no but you know you, like compared to how I feel like a lot of time in, in the kind of conversation that they want to have they can't have like um, extroverted Israelis in because it's like their idea like I think it, it, like at the end of the day they measure how good a time they had by how much they got in you know what I mean and it's like a lot of people really need you to leave space for them and we're like the opposite of that what if it was together for yeah sure. we just talk the whole time but you did also, like, it's not just me, you gave Michael shit about the show. I did. Yeah. I was, I was a little drunk. Yeah, like, hey, remember when you bombed? <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> John Mayer thing. Was so good. That was so good. And so you're like, remember when you bombed? That was my favorite time. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite things that I've ever seen. It was so bad. It was so good, though. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah, but you told him that, you yeah. know, like, he's not into it. This show is good. It's, I mean, he is, he is good at playing the guitar. Michael Dose. Uh, Dows? How do you say it? Dows? Dows? I think it's Dows. Dows. Yeah, it's like he's a one-man show. He does a lot of crowd work. But there was one point. It's like everybody in this fucking cruise is like 800 years old. He's like, and he was about to play like slow dancing in a burning slow room. Dancing yeah, on, uh, solo dancing. Solo guitar arrangement. And he just started with like, anybody here a John Mayer fan? It's just like Quiet, crickets. Like nothing. Like, John, John Mayor. Oh, John Mayow! I loved him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was, it was good. so good. It's like my great grandson loves him. I just can't believe that they brought that flautist on to play. Here we are now, dee 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 dee, entertainers. Yeah, it's just. Trying to go, well, he gave her the most shade I've ever seen. Like that was like British Parliament kind of shade. Like, like just she he like she introduces this flautist plays with like Justin Hayward or whatever band they're playing with. Yeah, and it was Justin Hayward. Yeah, they're playing with somebody. Yeah. So and then she came and and played like uh, two songs with them. Like they did like Fields of Gold and Nirvana and yeah. it smells like Teen Spirit. And then he literally on the mic he's like, I forget her name. Everybody here is blah blah blah. She's the best rock flautist on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude, that's a lot no, of modifiers. Like, you get a lot of stuff, too. A lot of shit. I don't know why I was stuff yeah. with those two out of it. It was throwing a lot it was of shade. Great. Yeah, it was great. It's great. It's great. That's, um, I, I don't do things like that. I go after the show and tell them. Yeah. You know. 
what I thought was. Uh, yeah, I don't even do that anymore. Yeah, but you yeah, used to do it. I used to do it more. I thought it was. I, th- I thought we were cool. Who? Me, me and Michael. Yeah, you were cool. Listen, we're cool. Everybody's like, if you ask them about us, we'll be like, yeah, well, those guys are great. But then we'll be like, hey, would you hire them to do something? They're like, uh, probably not. No. Yeah. It's like we should not hang out together too much. Yeah. No, I mean, I, listen, just like they don't want me as a best friend, I don't want them too. It's like, I feel the, like the reason, the secret of our undeniable success as podcasters is that we are very uh, able to communicate on a wavelength that is pretty honest. Yeah, but... And it's like, for me, when you bring somebody into the mix where it's like, oh my God, now we can't talk about slappy-tappy people. But you you, but you heard Gaia, right? So he <coughs> <coughs> he's the basis for Alan Parsons and me. He's Israeli. And we talked to him a bunch. Yeah. Um, and he said... For Al. For Al Pars. Oh, for Ali. <laughs> for Ali. <laughs> for Ali Parsons. Ali Parsley. Yeah. Um, and he was saying about, yeah, it's like, you shouldn't be the best friends with the people who are very, very employable. Yeah. It's like, it's a... Yeah, you shouldn't be it's a dangerous friends with zone. your boss. Yeah, it's a, danger, it's a dangerous territory. Yeah. It's like, if you, if you want to keep your gig for a long, long time, it's better to... Just understand the dynamic. Yeah. And be at the right distance from it. Yeah. And it's right. Yeah. Of course. Because like, you don't talk a lot, it's very you know, hard to annoy somebody. Especially some people, but yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. So I'm saying. This entire thing is uh, problematic. Yeah. Nick, how's, how's the cruise been for you so far? It's been really fun. Found the Oceanic Lounge. Good food there. Yeah. Yeah, we found out the, these Filipino Irishmen can cook a mean fish and chips. It's very eclectic. The, yeah, for an angry bunch. Yeah, I just love the way their face. Oh, I just feel yesterday. I told Nick, yeah. can you move your foot a little bit? It's like taking up the entire frame. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can make money doing that. Um, that you tell me what you think. Because I told Nick already, and he agreed that they used to have on cruise ships like all these hot women from all the third world countries but now with only fans we can only get the agos <laughs> it's a solid theory right yeah because it's like why would they do that they can make real money like in dollars and but here are there a lot of like third world country only fans there is yes of course it? of course what do you mean yeah, of course. That's, that's, all, that's all there is, I feel like. Wow. Dude, you, you in Ukraine or something? It's like, Putin is about to invade, your Uber is worthless. Just crashing it, getting Just those dollars? Just crashing it, getting dollars, yeah, everywhere, I'm sure. That's sick. <sighs> we need to start an OnlyFans. Why? Huh? Why? What Just that? to make that money. You can figure it out. We can figure it out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how everybody would like to see that. Um, yeah. Uh, it's Maybe ever it can. It's really, it's, it's an interesting experience being, um, I, like if I was interested in being a sideman and like joining like a band for money, like for touring, a place like this would be the place to be. You know? You're how would you even do it though? Like, how would I... We're not asking you now to join another sideman. No, they're not. I just, I just don't understand what, I don't understand what, like, what can I give him on saxophone that, that doesn't, flautist it doesn't, work like doesn't, that. doesn't give him. It doesn't work like that. It's like you just gotta, you know, have the in and the right time when they're looking and be like the guy that's... We just need to be on the other decks, and then if we need somebody, you want all the people that we call. Well, you know, if you just, like, you know, if you do that game that they all do, of like, hey, hey, oh, you're so great, I love you, I love your music, and then it's just, you do it at the right time when they're looking, it's like, oh, yeah, you know what? It's so a good idea, I'm going to talk to Miss Flautis and see, like, if she can't get a gig because she's busy, maybe she can sort them in my way. But like, hey, it's like, I also love uh, Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're really kidding. I'm like, boo, 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 
<laughs> People where you move, it's like wow. It's like is this is this James Bond or is this like this awkward like Karen from the suburbs that learned flute? <laughs> Rock face on the flute is so intense. It's uh, hilarious. Uh, Okay. I actually just saw that guy that played on the pool stage, Pat Travers. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. I was, I was kind of the bands are actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Zombies. I actually not. think that on the average level, they are actually higher. Than Chris Chris of the Edge. It's different. It's pop, so it's a different aesthetic. Like, they really have their parts together. Yeah, but they really do have a shit together. Yeah. And Chris of the Edge, Singing is good. Chris yeah. of the Edge, we had a few, few really good bands, but mostly... Yeah, yeah most of the people that eat shit they have a lot of everything yeah yeah it's um I thought yeah the babies what a hardcore name by the way everybody <laughs> hey guys let's be the babies <laughs> it's like it, I get it they started like the, <clears> 70s, <throat> the 70s well what is yeah yeah when you're 20 cause, cause it's like 20. No, well there's no bands yet so like all the names are available so it's like you just choose the first the worst one <laughs> the worst one could hey be guys one. You know, you know, scorpions were so good. Like, they're oh, be- it's a scorpion. Before mm. the scorpions. Mm. They could it's have like, had that. It's so hardcore because, like, you see a scorpion in nature, like, oh no, watch out, it's gonna sting you. And we were gonna be like the babies, like, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense to you? Oh, it could be anything back then. It could be the people. I thought, the only thing I thought about when it came to the babies was that, that maybe the idea behind it was like, hey, baby, hey, baby, like, you know, the girls coming, baby, and like, yeah, because. We're gonna be like everybody's baby, and it's like we're the babies. Dude, I, I saw, <laughs> I told you I saw like those guys that they, me and Nick were working out. We saw like these three yeah, guys like, in like their early twenties, like just <laughs> like I started talking to them. I'm like, hey guys, like you gonna band? They're like no, like, who are you here to see? It's like oh, we just came for the experience. Like you don't know any of the bands? Like we kind of know the zombies. Uh, I was just like. Dude, like they look like they were here to get laid. Like everybody here hit menopause like seventy five years ago. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like no, yeah, they, they, they very, they look very surprised every time they see you walking around looking at all these grandmas. Like, oh, where are we? Uh, but uh, yeah, it's so so they know the zombies. I mean, I was thinking about it because I know some of the zombies video clips and a lot of them are in black and white. Like, it literally looks like. It's like a talk show from the 60s. Like, what's his name? Carson? Carson yeah, like they're on Carson. Johnny Carson. Yeah. It's yeah, fucked Carson up. Carson Daly. But the <laughs> funniest thing about the zombies is that, like, when you see them, like, in the 60s, they're just, like, like young people, but now the band actually looks like, like zombies. zombies. Like, yeah. it looks like the, the zombie cast from, like, <laughs> Walking Dead. It's just, like, coming on the stage, like, <laughs> like, call Rick. <laughs> Quick, there's zombies call everywhere. Him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually I'm actually excited to see their set at the pool stage tonight. I'm gonna Let's watch. watch the babies. Yeah, we're gonna see that. <clears throat> we have three shows. You to don't see. mess with the babies. It's a pretty hardcore name. Yeah, but we're done. We're out of shows. We played five shows. I'm trying. Get out of my way, or I'll throw a fit. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just I don't know. It's just so ridiculous. It's such a stupid name. Don't you like it when they used to be able to name it after the city they form? Chicago. It's yeah. like it's just a city with millions of people. Yeah. It's like, you I don't know, we're, we're Chicago. Yeah, you could do anything. The suburbs. Anything. Trees. Yeah. <laughs> Who are we? The foot. The Burbs. <laughs> there's, there's a band called The Burbs, for sure. Mm-hmm. Now there is. Back then there wasn't. All the names weren't taken. <laughs> what, in the 60s? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It could barely be a band. Yeah. So it's like you come up with the worst names yeah. ever. The Whiskey. Yeah. Or and then you have a competing band, Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, because they have they have shit like that, dude. They, some people were like doing some like serious like C lister name dropping yesterday. Like and and I was just like, I don't know that name. It's like, oh, he's like the bassist for the Foo, Foo Fighters. I'm just, I I don't know, man. It's like the like, bassist for the Foo Fighters. Yeah, it's like wow. but like yeah, it's like I played with this and this, and it's like I don't know. So it's like oh, that's like the keyboard. Must feel David on the bass. Yeah, it's a keyboardist for Aerosmith. Like, I, does anybody know that? Is that like a? I mean, I guess these guys do like the like the professional rock. The bottom feeders. Guys. Yeah, the bottom feeders. Yeah, it's very strange. Uh, I'm not into it. I don't know what I'm supposed to get from it. Yeah. 
what we're just you know fusion being a fusion musician it's just like you're destined to exile just be on your own play music nobody understands well us specifically even the fusion people hate us yeah but the people here seem to like us so. I can't believe Scott Henderson no he's not on our side anymore oh dude yeah and so I think Jesse is not connecting but he's ask how is it possible it's so weird so okay John, Joe Lang's definitely listened to it listening to this so as you guys know we branched out of the realm of Joe Bonamassa poetry into the realm of social commentary and there was a video that I was eating popcorn watching a Kurt Rosenwinkel Beato interview on a loop which is still my favorite YouTube moment of it's all time funny. you the man you the man you the man Rick that thing you did with emic selenium it's like it's just phrasing and beautiful it's like all the stuff you're talking about you the man you the so somebody joe sent it to scott henderson and scott said that i'm full of shit and that you're a terrible saxophone you sent the jazz boy oh we sent the jazz boy one we and then found he, out and then we found yeah then he saw the thing we're talking shit about kurt so he said we have no business talking shit about Kurt, but somehow he didn't recognize us, we didn't put it together. I didn't recognize you talking. And also it's like it's very weird to throw shade at my playing on this video. Like I was just protecting Kurt. Yeah, it's like it's really weird. No but I'm saying me throwing shade on my me playing video saxophone on that video. It's yeah, you very imitating weird. other people. Yeah. It's like it's not like I'm playing like, like I check out this song. Yeah. It's just very weird. It was very weird. It obviously is it's just upsetting. Yeah. But, uh... Fucking, well, it's cause it fucking good, man. I, I don't know. It's, aren't you guys bored with, like, how the status quo is? With, uh, right now? Yeah, with, like, just YouTube and how people are talking to each other and the personas they have, how they're fake nice. So yeah, why, why, why are you protecting Kurt? Kurt is a fucking asshole. You know what he is a, he's a fucking And it's asshole. like, dude, he doesn't give two shits about other people that's for sure yeah like you saw it with Alan when Alan like he was like I'm the biggest Alan fan on pe- like presenting the biggest Alan fan and then we got Alan to play uh, on Crosswords he was yeah, a yeah. huge fucking dick to him yeah, yeah. so he, he basically rolled Alan's show into a guest spot on his set yeah and was like a dick about what we're gonna play and all the shit it was like a big deal if you remember I remember and Alan really didn't want to do it, and they pushed him to do it. Yeah, they just basically like rolled him onto stage. Yeah, he, against his will, he really wasn't into it. So, yeah. you know, it's like if, if you can think like, oh, this guy is so cool. He's not. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it's all right. Sometimes there's a price to pay for being so real, hilarious. so real, and of the streets. Hey, we're building a channel. I don't give a shit about yeah. these people. God, that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, we the th- corner selling dope. <laughs> dope licks. Dope licks. Dope licks and fucking dope knowledge. Yeah. And if you come at us, we come back at you. We're going to come at you, Colt. Colt will come. I'm coming, I actually, I actually do have to give a big shout out to Levi Clay. Uh, Levi. Levi. We say Levi in this show. Uh, but, but we use it as a last name. That's true. Levi Clay. Um, for transcribing one of my solos at home that got us to a lot of people that's very appreciated and this is the fucking thing it's like these thank you these these monsters um from the 80s and 90s and like these old guys the truth is those relationships like as nice as it is for somebody you listen to on record to send them like a track and be like it's like oh my god that's really nice which happens on occasion it's like Ah, it's like these fucking guys are not. You're not gonna help them. They're not gonna help you. They're just. Uh, I don't give no, a no, shit. I'm willing to Scott. Right, so huh? he's really good, cool guy. He really helped us. No, no, he's great. Send my visa to send my artist visa to be in the states, but it's like, I don't know. I I understand he's upset, but it's like, I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just really surprised he didn't recognize us. Yeah, and it's funny that he's he's the man that signed your visa and you couldn't put it together. Well, we hung out with us. We hung out with him a lot, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and he listened to a bunch of music. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh. It's fine. It's again, not like it's a mobbing thing. I wish it develops into a beef. 
Yeah, it won't. Not for him. We tried to. We tried to get a beef into Chris Potter. Yeah. Did you hear about this? Yeah, I never heard I wrote him. And he wrote him that uh, Dumbledore can protect him? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, not Dumbledore. No, no. I said... Uh, Gandalf. Gandalf. Gandalf can protect you, Potter. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. The War of the Rings with Harry Potter? Yeah, it's a joke because I'm just mixing it up. Oh, I see. Because yeah. I'm not a nerd. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> yeah, he wants to battle him on saxophone. And you Gandalf know what, you know what Chris him. Potter said? What? Nothing, you know me. Yeah. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just like everybody else that I tried to start a beef with. Yeah. <laughs> just ignore me. Could you imagine if you don't know you and like somebody writes you know, Gandalf can't protect you, Potter? And Chris Potter. It's so funny. Oh, I want to say, if I write it to me, I was like, that makes no sense. <laughs> I don't even wear glasses. I don't think he does either. Yeah, but his name is Potter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it makes no sense. But if somebody called me out, I would fucking love it. Yeah. All I like to do is bring people down with music <laughs> so I play music for <laughs> yeah dude yeah yesterday we were playing some gypsy jazz on the boat after drinking a lot of whiskey and we were all in Dimension 17 and I was just I remember I had a moment I was just like playing like a fast song I forget like All of Me or something and I was just like is this the first A or the second A I was trying to think and I was just like you well, have to when well, I'm not high I don't know yeah I was just like just it's very good that your body knows how to play this music just stay out of the way like this is where what autopilot what is for. What's all I'll tell you? Yeah, but I'm usually I like I don't I'm not on autopilot in Marvin. Yeah, but for the melody part, the melody part makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense because your body knows how to do it. You just gotta. Yeah, but if you way. think about it, you, you fuck it up. That's my happens to me. That's a problem. But if we go over it before, it's actually it makes me more of a chance I'll fuck it up later. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah but what are you saying? Oh, but we played it with people. Yeah, that too. Tomorrow we have we have I to sit in and play with some with some outsiders. Yeah, we do. It's fine. We'll be easy. Yeah, just play some blues. What's the name of the band? Empty Pockets. Empty Pockets. I like those guys uh, a lot. I play blues in a normal key, not an E. It's definitely not gonna be a normal key for you. Why don't we play? She plays piano. It's not. It's just not gonna happen. Dun, 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 play dun, 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 dun. Get ready. Play in on the black keys. Dun, 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 dun. Great, you know. Pentatonic. Classic. Check out my Pentatonic series. <laughs> 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 On YouTube. Like, subscribe. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Alright, I'm feeling pretty cashed. It's what? A good episode. Let's wrap this Let's one up. Let's do short. I want to talk about something. What do you want to talk about? I guess now it's out of context. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll do another one. Guys, subscribe to the podcast. Uh, excuse me, guys. Guys sorry. and Libby. <laughs> Guys and Libby. Guys and Libby, subscribe to the podcast. See you next time.